Hi guys, welcome back to Mama's Crafty Chaos. Today we are going to be making two pies. We are going to be making a no-bake peanut butter cup pie and a cream cheese pie. So let's start with the no-bake peanut butter cup pie. And you're going to start with one ounce of cream cheese that is softened. Here I am putting it in the bowl. And then you are going to add a half a cup of peanut butter. We use Jif in this house, but you can use any kind of peanut butter that your family likes. And after you do that, you are going to use an electric mis mixer or whatever you have and just blend it until it is nice and smooth. Now this electric mixer I have is awful. I had to get it when my other one broke during the pandemic and this was all I could find. I waited like three weeks to find one in store and oh, it's just awful. So you wanna make sure it blends well. Yeah, and it only came with one of each of the attachments. So I will be on the hunt for a new mixer for sure. Okay, continue to make it all smooth and mix nicely. And then you are going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. These shot glass uh, measuring cups for liquids are just awesome. I highly recommend them. I think that one's from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then blend that up. And then you're going to add one and a half cups of powdered sugar and you're going to beat that all together until it's all nice and smooth. And of course I will link these recipes down in the description box below. I promise you will not be sorry if you make these. Especially this first one. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, so then this you're going to add eight ounces of your thawed Cool Whip. Now this is a huge container and I just did, because I was making two pies that both use Cool Whip, I just scooped out, I eyeballed the eight ounces pretty much. And mix that until it's smooth. You can also use like a hand or like a spatula or a whisk whatever you prefer to, to get it nice and smooth and creamy and then the Reese's peanut butter cups you are going to crush them all I like to put them in a Ziploc baggie and I break them up with my fingers. This is also something if you have children, my children love to do this. They love unwrapping all of them and then they love crushing them and that's a huge help for me. I can get the rest of the stuff together and mixed up. By the time I'm done they're usually finished with this part. So there we go. There's all of the Reese's peanut butter cups. So you want about two cups of chopped cups, but I, I mean, it's really your preference. I think I probably had more. And then you add it to your mix. And you mix it up with your spatula. You want to fold it in and, um, you don't want to mix that because you don't want to break it up even more than you already have it. Okay. 
And remember, this is a no-bake pie. So there you go. I mean, it, it's delicious. So then I'm going to get my pie out here. And I'm just adding some more into the mix because I have so much left over. So then you just pour it into your pie. You guys see my, um, my kids made those colored Easter eggs in the back. And they didn't want me to eat any of them. <laughs> So we just left them on display on the oven. So you spread it around evenly and I had an excessive amount so my eyeballing of the Cool Whip probably was a little too much. But So I just put the extra in a bowl and then later I put it in little dishes and they eat it like a pudding. And it was so sweet but it was tasty and the kids loved that extra little treat. So then you top it with some or or not Oreo, some Reese's peanut butter cup pieces. And I like to use the edges, the you know, the harder parts for the top, but I did use a couple of middle pieces too. So I had bought one snack size bag and then one of those, I think you saw, I had a long pack. That was just what my store happened to have. And so that's what I got. And voila, there you have your pie and you want to stick it in the fridge two to four hours before you serve it to get it nice and cold. So on to pie number two, we have the cream cheese pie. And for that, we are going to start again with the package of, the one package of Philly cream cheese. Well, it doesn't have to be the Philadelphia cream cheese, it can be any. And um, your one third cup of sugar. So put those in the bowl and mix them up real good. Now this pie, you'll just be amazed at how easy it is. It's insanely easy. Okay, and then last you're going to add 8 ounces of Cool Whip and you're going to stir that all together. So three ingredients, four if you include the crust, but um, you have your cream cheese, your sugar, and your Cool Whip. So you're going to mix that all together. You want to make sure it's well blended as sometimes the cream cheese and the sugar get kind of lumpy but um, so then you just fill up your pie crust now I have never used a different pie crust rather than the graham cr cracker crust but um man I'm thinking about an Oreo pie crust that would be really good I bet So spoon it into your pie crust and then this pie you want to refrigerate for three hours at least. Overnight would even be best, but if you get it in there for three hours then you're you're good. Get it nice and cold. And then there you have it guys. Try these out and I hope you love them as much as our family does. This cream cheese pie recipe is actually my mother-in-law's and my husband loves it my kids love it and it's just one of our go-to 
holiday pies. So thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And until next time, bye.